Okay, guys. <clears throat> Pardon me. This is Wiggle from Kaizoku Gaming. We're going to be going over a Dust 2 tutorial. Just um, kind of going through anything that comes to mind. I know that some people in chat had requested that we kind of go through some maps, kind of go through important points that maybe aren't covered uh, regular, excuse me, regularly, or um, things that maybe you know people are expected to know, but really they don't know where to find them, like certain callouts. As you know, things like a default setup, um, you know, things like that on you know Dust2 or a CT setup, you know, blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be going through some stuff today, uh, just little by little, like I said, as it comes to mind, and we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, just get all nades and everything ready. Um, so I mean, we'll just start anywhere. You know, this is as good a place as any. Um, you know, we'll start by just kind of going through some basic nades, you know, first. I mean, we can talk about a default setup if you guys want. Um, kind of, you know, what entails a default T-side setup. Yeah, so why not? Let's start on Terror side. I prefer Terror side anyways. We can kind of go through the most very basics of a default setup. So basically, uh, what we have, uh, you know, is 5-on-5. Five five, and uh, typically what you'll have on a very, very basic setup. We'll skip pistol round. I'm talking about just standard gun round. Typically you'll have like an opera picking mid. Like right here you have like an opera. Of course I didn't mean for that to go there. You have an opera like picking mid. And you might have like a, a guy holding long. Um, then over here you might have like a guy holding upper tunnels. Kind of like by, you know, kind of like an off angle. Kind of like here. Or maybe kind of like here. You know, we can turn for the flash. Or maybe even have a guy like kind of in here in the stairs. And, uh, you know, being able to work these off angles. They'll probably take the bomb with them. Or, you know, put the bombs in, like, lower tunnels kind of thing. Uh, you may have another guy that kind of goes with him. That kind of works lower tunnels. They might be peeking cat a little bit. They might be maybe trying to take care of uh, controlling, like, this lower mid kind of area. You know, being able to smoke Xbox if needed. Uh, you know, from this lower area. That way you can work up cat. And so that's one, two, three positions, uh, four positions over here, and then your fifth guy, maybe like right here, kind of top mid, uh, to kind of, you know, be able to work up this area, you know, kind of get cat control eventually. That's a very important area. So um, that's kind of like a basic default setup for T-side. Like when uh, when an in-game leader says, let's just have some, like, let's run a default, or let's have some good map presence. It, mean, it doesn't mean everyone rush into, um, you know, rush into upper B. You know what it means you know and like four players stay there while one ops mid you know it's basically you know like one two three four five just to uh hold back any pushes from the terrorist side um you know it's like i said standard default setup nothing really too crazy there um you know some call outs that people sometimes miss you know like this call like palm tree from source this is green box you know there's xbox up here because i think i can't tell if it's still there I don't know if that counts. There used to be like an X there, I think. Uh, Xbox, double doors, lower... Some people call this lower dark. This is like a lower mid area. This is mid. This is uh, top of mid or T mid. Over here is CT mid, Humvee. Um, something that I think a lot of people fail to consider, uh, you know, is just how much... Like, uh, depending, on, depending on what level you're playing at, that will greatly determine... Uh, you know, what kind of map control you should expect to have or that you want to have, you know, and that areas like this out here in the middle, uh, you know, that are usually highly contended at all levels, you know, maybe, you know, they'll come easier or harder depending on what level that you're playing at. Um, and I'll get a little bit more into that when we go over CT side. So, um, basically, um, yeah, let's go over some nades, why not? Uh, one I, th I think that uh, smoke that everyone should learn on this map is the Xbox smoke, which is fairly simple. There are so many different ways to do it. You know, you can do one, and I actually just changed my resolution, so hopefully this lands. If not, I'll throw it again. Yes, yeah, so that one lands right there, and you can see that that offers um, coverage from mid, unless you know the opera is peeking way over here to check green box. You know that basically gives you good cover through mid. Obviously, they can still spam it, but it can still get you right up cat. Um, with ease. They think that there's another one where you kind of like, I uh, used to do this one a lot. Kind of like line up right here and you kind of like run, throw, something like that. I don't think that'll land, but let's see. Yeah, it fell down on the back. Yeah. 
So anyways, there's one like that. Uh, let's see, there's another one over here, I think. Let me see, I think I need like a crosser to like line this one up. I think it's like right there. No, not there. Right there, I think. Right there. Oh, still no. Again, I changed the resolution, so this one's a little bit tricky. Or it's sometimes a little bit tricky to, to get stuff exactly right. That one was a little bit off, but you can smoke Xbox from Long Doors, um, or from Long House over here. You call this area Long House. Some people call it like Barn. Long House is pretty universal, though. Um, yeah, so I kind of like right, right about there. Somewhere in there. Um, so, you know, basically everyone, everyone uh, should be, should learn how to smoke Xbox. And uh, welcome, chat. Welcome, J Bill. I'm just going through the tutorial. That's awesome, dude. Really happy for you. So we're just kind of going over... Um, you know, Xbox smoke, very basic Xbox smoke. You know, this is what everyone, everyone should know this smoke. Uh, that's really the easiest one. I mean, this one, I don't really care for the running. Just any kind of run throw or jump throw is inconsistent. Anything that you can stay static is is ideal. Um, but yeah, everyone should know that. That way you don't have to take uh, longhouse control. Um, uh, but yeah, Xbox smoke, very basic. Uh, another one from back here, you can uh, smoke... I think it's right here in the middle. You can smoke the corner right over here very easily, just like that, um, without having to do some kind of crazy jump, run, jump, throw from over here. I think some people like to do just kind of something like that, or they like to even just run and throw. I don't think that those were close. I don't even bother learning those because I think that, yeah, you can do them a little bit faster, but I think that this one is a lot more accurate, a lot more consistent, I should say. Just aim for right in the middle of this. Uh, triangle-ish shape, just right there in the middle. Oops, I'm sorry. Right there, right in the middle. A little finicky. And you'll see that you do have to wait a second because it will pop right there at the corner, which is good. And of course, if you're playing at a higher level, you always want to spam the smoke. Turn down the game sounds a little bit. Um, you always want to make sure that you're spamming smoke at higher levels because people do like to sit in the smoke. Um, that being said, uh, you know, like I say, somebody smoked Xbox, you know, you, maybe they want you to flash cat for them. You know, that way you can, you know, work your way up cat, you know, or if you're just flashing cat yourself. Uh, to get up here and on cat. Um, we'll go over, like, kind of how to, like, the, the CT opposite side in a little bit. Um, but basically, taking cat control is a very important part of dust too, you know, because you can, as a terrorist, you can very easily, you very easily get upper tunnels control or upper dark, very easily get lower dark control, uh, you can very easily get long house control if you so choose, and you definitely, basically by default, have all of this under control. By the way, one thing I forgot to mention, when you are lining up for this Xbox smoke, especially if you're throwing it on a pistol round, um, if you have, if you have a support player throwing it on pistol round, you do have to be very cautious of a CT push where they'll come right up here. And they'll look at just a nice clump of terrorists just ready and waiting to be popped. Um, so that's just something to consider. When you are lining up that smoke, make sure that somebody is uh, watching the mid-push. Yo, Arlie, what's up, man? Good to have you here. Um, see, so yeah, where were we? Oh, yeah, we're talking about that Xbox smoke. Uh, so I'll re-smoke it here. And uh, really just talking about how important cat control is um, because you have all those areas of control by default. And once you get that Xbox smoke... Um, this is where you try to work up cat. Usually, a confident player, there's a bad flash, confident player, a confident cat player, I should say, uh, they see Xbox smoke, or if the mid guy calls Xbox smoke, they, if they're already up here, they may actually flash out and peek you as you guys are running up and lining up for them, especially if they're an offer, they may go ahead and peek that, or they'll basically, it's basically just a big warning sign or big red flag saying, saying, uh, you know, come and get me, or come and get us, we're all running up cat. Arlie, man, I haven't seen you for a while. I hope you've been doing well. Hope things have been good. Um, so in response to a cat push, um, you know, you may have, you, you may have an opera sitting here, uh, you know, holding this crack, they'll typically just single zoom. They may hold the crack, uh, you know, fall down if they miss the pick, you know, kind of give a little pop flash or even sometimes they like to flash it off this wall to catch them as they're running up, depending on how fast they're moving. Um, and I mean, cat. You typically, if you're going to play like that on cat, you typically want to have another guy here that you know is rifling with you, that is not going to be blinded by any flashes or any pushes. They're going to stay right here and to be able to pop out and help you out, especially if you need to fall off. That they'll be able to kind of take advantage as everyone's focus. 
as, as all the ter- excuse me, as all the terrorists are running up here, that their focus is here as you dropped off. They're, they may not be expecting to see another guy here on cat. Um, so, you know, very basic cat stuff. Um, again, you know, terrorists, you know, you may decide uh, that you're like, you know, you want to nade or molly up down there in the, excuse me, in that little corner. Sometimes you may have a pop flash come from... Uh, from lower B, just to flash them in. They'll flash, you know. You may have terrorists working cat ask for a a, uh, a flash from lower dark. They may decide to molly, you know, and basically kind of you know get that CT out of that position. Uh, sometimes if a CT is boosted up here, or if they're playing like right here at the corner, the molly may miss. Um, you know, that's just something to consider. Oh, you don't feel too good right now. Do it, do it. Call off from work, dude. That's the way to go way to do it keep in mind that this is this is a spot that people have been playing for a very long time 1.5 1.6 for you know good decade people have been playing this spot on cat uh you know ready to just kind of as they hear stuff they pop out take a take a few shots and then that's that's really if you're deciding to just sprint up cat like this yeah you, maybe you check it you're like oh i check it but you're just running and this is an easy mistake is that a lot of people like to run up cat really what you don't consider is that if and i mean at the lower level lower levels i mean mge and down mge and down you, you don't even really need a ct player nobody's really running mid to b smokes or doing any kind of mid you know run out mid plays or anything like that maybe every once in a while but typically they go a excuse me they go a or b and you don't really have to worry about a mid a mid to b smoke or a mid you know mid rush or anything like that so you don't really need a player playing on these boxes in ct you know, spotting, you know, any kind of mid play. Uh, so that being said, um, you know, if you are playing at like an upper level and you do see, you know, you do recognize that maybe, yeah, they do have a, a player, their mid player playing in CT, they can hear any kind of running. You know, of course, if they're playing mid here, they may be able to spot, maybe able to spot you guys running up cat, um, you know, and, and give the call early. But that's what the Xbox smoke is for as either a fake or an actual play. But if they are in CT, if they're playing CT behind the CT box or anything like that, they can hear you guys running up cat. Uh, so that's something to consider. So uh, when you are playing, um, when you are on T side and you are pushing up cat, you do want to try to be quiet, especially, you know, when you go to like, you know, peak this, you may want to, you know, like if there's an upper here, if you want to peak that, you typically want to peak this first. Some people, even when they get this far, they will still nade it. Just to be sure that way they're not peaking here. And then all of a sudden they get, you know, they get it. You know basically roasted they get roasted from this position because it, it is it is a pretty pretty nice ninja spot i mean even at the pro level you can watch um you can watch even in the in the majors you know the major championships grand finals where a ct player will sit here uh you know an entire team of terrorists will on a like on a pistol round or like an eco round they'll run right up cat and you know like a envious like a happy happy has done this before i've seen him perfect example where they all the the run up cat happy comes up you know and gets you know a few kills from behind just you know out of sheer patience because nobody thought to check this corner just swing a little bit wide you know maybe even the second or third guy just swing a little bit wide and check this corner um so that's why people like to nade it molly it you know just to be certain you know you don't want to forget um that being said yeah cat control is probably the most important thing i'd consider the most important thing with uh dust to terrorist side because then then you by default have upper b control lower b control cat control and long house control and we'll go over kind of like how to get a little bit more out of long like maybe get pit control and stuff like that as well okay so um like i said cat control 